I'm standing here at base camp with Mikko Maaninen, who works for the logistics, and we're going to ask him a little bit about the tents you have here. Okay. How many different tents do you have here at the camp? I would say we have uh, somewhere around 10 different kinds of tents. And what kind of tents do you have? Uh, we have different tents for uh, accommodation. The accommodation tents are different uh, depending on which country they are coming from. Then we have the kitchen tent, uh, the shower tent and uh, dining hall, for example. And which tents are we going to visit? We're going to visit uh, the Finnish uh, tent and the German tent and Norwegian tent, which are all accommodation tents. Let's go. Uh, we are now standing in front of Finnish tent, uh, which is uh, meant for mainly for uh, Finnish urban search and rescue purposes, but it's also suitable for accommodating uh, people in IHP environment. This tent is uh, especially good in cold conditions. Even in heavy wind or snowstorms, it's really good. There's additional uh, vestibules which direct the wind and it doesn't take off as easily as uh, straight uh, edges of the tent. So it, it's kind of shaped like this. Yeah. If you can give a grade from one to five, which is this tent's grade? I'd give it a uh, four. It's good in uh, as an office space or it's good for accommodation, but the beams are bad in that way. They take a lot of space and for example the layout has to be for only six persons if it's accommodation because these beds don't fit between the quite thick beams. Okay. Should we go inside? The German tent, uh, which is on metal frame, and it is one tent is for six persons, the same as the Finnish tent. It's pretty heavy because of the frame, but it's also quite fast to erect, and uh, because it's the metal frame, you need a uh, little more guys to work on it while erecting it. If there is a hurricane, like yeah. today or yesterday. Yeah. Uh, what would happen to this tent? Uh, I don't know. We would see. Uh, you have to put the spikes to the ground uh, really tight. So it's tight to the ground anyway. Maybe it will withstand strong wind, but I don't know, a hurricane. The grade from 1 to 5, I'd say a 3. Yeah, Because it, it's not good in very windy conditions. Now we are in the Norwegian tent and uh, as you can see there are separate uh, cabins for every, uh, every everyone who's accommodated here. So these inner tents give a little more privacy which is good especially in longer term missions. I would give it a four. Uh, it takes a lot of work to put up, but when it's done, it's really good tent to stay in.